Yeah. Um, just picking up on what you mentioned there, is that something you've really noticed about Scottish football and that one week you can be you know, up against Celtic or Rangers where you've got one game plan that's completely different from the one that you take into you know, a game perhaps against St Johnson where you know, going by previous games against them they're very tight and can just be you know, fine details that separate it? Yeah, no, 100%. Um, even, more, like, even more interesting is that I think you could face a St Johnston this week play them in one um, playing style and the next week you play them again and it'd be a completely different game. Yeah. Different tactics, different players. Like I, I've not seen a league where teams during the season change form, change playing wise so often. Yeah. So I think it's a real challenge for coaches to prepare well for the games. Um, but we've got really good staff and every game we're ready, we know what the team will do and it won't be different this Saturday. How do you find that as a player having to react to different things all the time? Yeah, I, I like it as a challenge because it makes you improve in, in so many different areas of the game. It's a very technical league, you have great individual players, but at the same time the tempo is very high. And like I said, you get these games, you get these games, so it's a bit of everything. And I feel like if, if you do well here, you'll be prepared for most leagues. Are you looking forward to you know that chance to build momentum again? Because it has been quite stop-start in the last few weeks, just through international breaks and things yeah. like that. You know, you're now into quite a clean run of games. Yeah, so. I always say that for me, I, I, I mean, it's good to get a few days off, but I, I hate those international breaks. It yeah. really like, breaks the rhythm. Um, I think every player, at least, at least me, I like being in, in that like regular playing rhythm. Now again, it's a bit off with Sunday, Saturday, Friday. But at least you're playing once a week, and I'm glad we're getting back into a stretch like that. And I think it's good because you can really make it into like a mini league, mm -hmm. um, take that stretch and prepare for that, give it your all, and then take it step for step. I suppose it adds into that that you don't play Celtic or Rangers now for the rest of the season. You know, it's, it's more teams that you, you would go into every game hoping to, to win that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, from, from a mindset perspective, you go into the Celtic game as well, thinking yeah. you'll win, preparing yourself to want to get those three points, but being realistic, you're, you're obviously right. <clears throat> we're facing teams now where, um, yeah, we want to win every single game and we know we can. Yeah. Were you pleased to you know, get back into the starting lineup for the Celtic game as well? Because, um, I mean, there's strong competition in the, in the midfield area now. Yeah, well. yeah I'm, I'm not going to lie. Um, for me, when I don't play, it's, it's so frustrating and it affects my whole life. <laughs> it probably shouldn't. Um, but I think every passionate footballer, it just takes over your personal life as well. So. I was working really hard and it's not my position, my job is not to um, criticise the coach for not playing and my job is to not give him a choice basically or prove him why he should play me and I'm glad I was able to do that and get back in the team and I hope I'll get a good stretch now of playing time. How does that frustration manifest in your personal life? Is it just moods or you know, uh, or just yeah, kind of... I think it's pretty much everything, Like it yeah. sounds strange but it just takes over your life, I think yeah. my girlfriend can tell you more about it, but um, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm glad to be back in the team and yeah. I want to stay there. Yeah. You mentioned potentially dragging St Johnson back into the battle with you, how helpful would that be if at the end of the season there are maybe four or five teams battling there instead of maybe two or three? Yeah, I think that's massive, I th I've not heard many people um, like speak about it now, I think we're just focused on going game by game and just seeing it as three points in, in every game no matter who you play. But personally I do think it would be um, would be massive to drag another team in there. It just it's a numbers game at the end and it just increases the chances of of coming through. Yeah, I guess a month ago nobody was talking about St Johnson yeah. potentially being dead there. So it shows how momentum yeah. can change. I, I, that's what I what I said earlier in this league, like momentum and form and play it changes all the time. I remember a few weeks ago it felt like Aberdeen for example it it would have not been like unthinkable of them to be in the bottom playoff. The other day I checked the standings and they're third place or, or close to third place. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Just it's unbelievable. It changes all the time. So um, you can get a good run of form now at the end as well in the playoffs. Um, things can change again. So um, we'll see.